What's happening guys? Welcome to another video of Ride with Raj and today's video is all about how I spend my day. And why did I choose today to be the day which I want to vlog about? Yes, I'm getting the orange Vespa today and I'm really excited. And why do I have a ladder in my house is because well my bedroom is getting painted. So that's why the whole house is in a mess. Yeah, so the, my, my whole house is getting painted and uh, he started with the bedroom so that the bedroom gets done quickly so I can actually sleep. Uh, last night sleeping here was a little challenging for me and that's why it's just 8.30 in the morning right now. I got up late. Uh, I did not have any training today morning. For, what's the first thing a guy, guy believes in fitness does in the morning? Has half a liter of water. I did that and now I'm about to have my breakfast so today I'm gonna make a muesli so check this out and if you guys like the recipe you can have it and it's yum parrots there are more than 10 parrots here and they scream the hell out in the morning to wake everyone up so there are a lot of parrots and uh... <laughs> and dada's here he is my painter, so he's painting my house. I hate a white Okay, he has to keep some stuff, so I can't shoot here now. So, anyways, let's go and make the the muesli which I eat. Yeah, so I'm starting my day with a cup of tea, uh, but without sugar. And um, usually I have coffee, um, but uh, Dada, my painter, wanted tea, so I made tea for him and me. So today I'm having chai. All right. And after 15-20 minutes, I'll make the muesli. Alright, so I have half a cup of muesli. Alright, and if you guys want to know what muesli I'm using, is uh, basically the Bagri's uh, muesli, which is uh, without sugar. And you know what's the best part about Bagri's is? It's, if you read behind, it's 50, 52% of rolled oats, which I really like. I prefer rolled oats than the normal oats because they are full grain yeah and uh, as you can see i'll just show it to you so this is pretty pretty cool all right so that's your bag these and uh, you put a little handful of your uh, nice black raisins which i really like so i am adding six almonds uh, very simple you can cut them off it's uh, good to add these six around five six almonds is good all right, so now I'm adding walnuts. So I'm adding uh, basically three. I'm adding four walnuts. All right, you can break them as well. All right, now I'm gonna add pomegranates. Um, the, as you can see, I've already eaten a lot of muesli, so my pomegranates are nearly getting over, and uh, this much left. So let's uh, toss them all. And now I'm adding the banana boost every morning one banana should be good you can even add apples but i don't have apple today i finished all my apples so i'm just adding the banana so add couple of slices of banana yeah so after cutting two slices of pineapple uh, i'm gonna put the pieces of all the pineapple in the muesli apple make sure you're evenly cutting all the pieces so that every bite of this muesli should taste freaking exotic curd uh, by Punjab Sin I prefer organic curd like this or curd made at home uh, yogurt's amazing it's got a lot of probiotic ingredients in it and uh, it really really works well in large scoop uh, this muesli is good for two people if you're having along with your eggs and your bacon so if you have too much muesli you can have half of it, store it in the refrigerator, have it again at 4 o'clock or something when you're hungry. So this can work as your meal whenever you need it. So I've added two big scoops of curd. Now I'm gonna mix everything. So this is how it looks, okay? But this is mixed up. Usually you can make layers. So if you take a long glass and put the yogurt below, then you put the uh, oats, you can make layers of it and have it a spoon and it tastes yum but i prefer it like this so i get everything in a mush and um, it is good so let's taste this 
and begin our meal of the day. This is as good as a granola bar. You can add cranberries to it. You can add apple to it. If you don't have yogurt at home, you can add milk to it. Remember, this uh, these kind of rolled oats will absorb a lot of milk. So it won't be the typical oats which will which is like liquid form. You know, this will be it'll be as good as a granola bar. And let's have it. It's crunchy. It's good. It's tasty. And I think this is a boost of the day. You all should always have this every day. You can make three or four cups of it. Store them in your refrigerator and have it whenever you feel like. This is the best, best replacement for any cravings for sweet chocolates or any carbohydrate craving. So I think this is really, really dope ass, and you should try it. It's really, really yum. And every bite, okay. See, every bite has a pineapple, rolled oats, raisins, pomegranate, and a good amount of yogurt. So this is really yum, and should try. All right, now it's time to make the eggs and the bacon. And I want to show you guys one more thing. All right, how I wrap my bacon. So when I get the bacon from Hyper City, I cut this bag, all right, so that they don't stick together. So if you notice, they are all separate one by one. So I can just remove it like this. There you go, and throw it on the pan. As simple as that. All right, and put this in the pan. Roll it back. Yep. So as you can see, the bacon leaves its own juice. So for the eggs, we don't need any additional oil. All right. So keep turning the bacon because I don't like the bacon to be burnt off. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of juice coming out. Egg doesn't go that side. It's very simple now. I'm gonna smash the egg. There you go. I'm taking one whole egg full. Oops, sorry about that. I'm taking one whole egg full, and that was the second egg, but only white. The third one coming in also will be only white. No yellows. Just putting all the white. And there you go. Okay, so I just turned the bacon now. Bacon looks fine. The egg is doing fine as well. And cut it. Now all you gotta do is toss the egg over it. All right, and this is your egg. It's ready, and you just flip it. So this is my second meal of the day. You guys already saw me having the oats, which was yum, and this is also yum. So then I'm about to trim my beard, and there were a lot of questions about my beard. So I'm gonna show this product what I use. All right. So uh, this is a brand uh, called Success. It's a shaving gel from Japan. I had bought it. Guess what's the best part about this gel? The shaving gel does not create any foam. So people who want to trim their beard in a proper manner. This gel is rocking. You can get it online or you can call it from abroad. You don't get it here, but this is really, really amazing. When I was in Tokyo, I bought this, and uh, it doesn't create any foam. So you can shave and you can make out where you want to, you know, clean your beard from. Yeah. Why I'm showing you guys my roll-on, but this is the best duo stick in the world. I feel it's a little expensive. I think I bought it around fifteen hundred rupees, and it's from Japan again. Uh, it's called soft stone. If anybody is coming from abroad, you guys can order this. This is odorless, alcohol-less, and uh, fragrance-less uh, body roll-on for sweat. It's amazing. Uh, if you prefer with foam, you can use the Nivea Men Sensitive. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got zero percent alcohol, and this is a gel. You just need a little bit, and it's pretty nice. Yep. So I have trimmed now completely. And it did not take more than ten minutes. What else do you want? And now let's get ready. Uh, I'm gonna hit the gym, and after that we go get the Vespa, the orange Vespa.
And guys, guess what? Minions is on. But I'm gonna miss it because I've got to get my Vespa. My favorite part is this guy because he says banana, banana. Too excited for the Vespa. Why am I on the motorcycle? And it's not washed, by the way. Uh, it's because I'm leaving this motorcycle in another my sister's building uh, because I have only one uh, bike park here. So I'm gonna keep my bike in my sister's building and I'm gonna get my scooter in my building. So that's the plan. So let's rock and roll and get the Vespa. So a lot of friends asked me why am I buying a Vespa? Why am I buying a scooter? You see that everyone who lives in Mumbai knows that we, we all need a scooter. And why am I carrying my passport? Is because they need an original passport for the registration. Yes, this is part of the process, guys. Uh, they'll keep my passport, they'll do my registration, give me the permanent number in three more days. So for three more days, I won't be driving much, but here and there, just basic in the locality. And that's why I'm carrying my passport. So I'm buying a scooter is because so that I can commute very easily. Plus it can accommodate my, my luggage and something. I can keep my bag. So I think scooter is very convenient and I decided to go for it. So yep, but it had to be a Vespa because my father had a Vespa. And when I told my father that I am buying a scooter, which one should I buy? And I told him Vespas are doing pretty good and I really like Vespas. So he said go for it. Check the apple are so many for delivery. My god. Apple are selling crazy. Check it out. All ready for delivery. And that's that's the 70th anniversary edition. Fall white and but these both are only in one fifty, not in one twenty. And friends, you know why? Why did I choose orange? On Facebook and on Instagram, I had mentioned that should I go for the blue or the orange? And I had asked these questions to my subscribers. And uh, the vote of orange was more. So for subscribers, I bought the orange. <laughs> Otherwise, I was going for the blue, but orange also rocks. Thanks a lot, whoever voted for which color I should choose for. What, what all they gave me free, I'll talk about. So that steel bracket is uh, given complimentary. They will be putting one more there, but it's out of stock. And uh, the grab rail behind. Uh, for this, I have to pay 850 rupees. And I'll talk about all this when I do the review of this uh, scooter. So he's installing the grab rails now. I went for the old style. So usually they give this grab bars, uh, as you can see on that orange one also. That's a new one, but I like the old one which is below the seat because I like the I like the shape of this part. So I have gone for the old look. And now he's installing the grab bar here. And uh, he's check this out. Yeah, so I'll be talking about all technical specifications and everything during my review video. So guys stay tuned for the review video.
शोरूम पे आई नीड टेल यू दैट टाइम आई एम पेइंग शोरूम पे जा रहे हैं All right, so if you guys remember, that's the motorcycle I had reviewed, and that's my scooter now. So, Royal Enfield, meet the Vespa. All right, I'm going to the Yellow Cup, which is where I always have my salads. This place is in Oshiwara, and I'm about to have salad. And I'm meeting Suraj and Akansha. They here. I'm excited to show them my scooter. So that's Suraj and that's Akansha, and I'm about to show them my scooter. The standard bullet, which I had reviewed. All right, it's here right now because the person who works here owns it, and I reviewed it. He has done the exhaust and handlebar. I was supposed to do a direct video with all the modifications, but I'm already here and I'm excited because I got a Vespa. So I'm going to show you guys the sound of the Chota bottle. All right, so check this exhaust out. So that's the Chota bottle exhaust which he has installed in his Royal Enfield. He has put the the broad bars. That's more like the RD 350 style. I'm not too fond of this handlebar, but he likes it, so he's done it. But check this out. Let's hear the sound and see how it performs. All right, I've just started the motorcycle. He has also put uh, uh, crash. He has also put crash guards for both the sides. I've told him this doesn't look that cool, so he's gonna remove it. Even he didn't like it, but the shopkeeper sold it to him. He said it's very good, but it's, uh, he's gonna remove it. The crash guard head is also installed. And trust me, guys, this short bottle sound is so beautiful and so thumpy, so bassy. I'm gonna just accelerate. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's a lot of traffic noise, but original bullet sound. That's it's so smooth. It's so perfect. Perfect thump. so you guys heard the sound i hope it was audible but i am going to review uh, the modifications later on so that will be a proper sound but this chota bottle which is uh, some people call it dholki some people call it chota bottle exhaust is perfect for the bullet it's a perfect thump and uh, when you on a high gear and you are at a lower speed you know it really sounds very bassy and nice so i think i really recommend this for people who are watching this who have bullet es or a standard 350 Please go for the chota bottle. It's a decent sound, and I don't think any cops will arrest you for this. Guys, know what salad I'm having, and let me quickly show you this place. Whenever I come to Yellow Cafe, this is where I mostly sit, chill out, have my salad, and uh, I can always watch my bike, and that's what I like. Uh, it's a very very cute cafe. It's got awesome magazines, and it's got these. Um, they have the Calvin and Hobbes uh, comics. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay. And uh, this is also a ledge for people to sit and eat the salad. That's the salad bar there, and that's Suraj. And I'm sure everyone knows Suraj by now. He owns the cafe, guys. And that's the bowl of heaven, guys. This is the kind of salad these guys give. And uh, Suraj Cafe makes really, really nice salad. I come here every day to have one. And I have also called for a roll. So, and everyone knows Suraj. Suraj, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, now that I'm giving you a small tour, check the interior, guys. All right. That's the reception counter. And um, they make very good smoothies. And this is what you guys should really try. That's with coconut milk. That's like a muesli with coconut milk. It's yummy. Obviously, these are cupcakes. We have some pastries, and um, yeah, and this is the salad counter. These are all the ingredients. Everything is made fresh here, and that's his kitchen and the pantry. That's his coffee machine. That's his baking machine. And it's called the Yellow Cup. So you should come here, check it out. If you like salads, this is the place to come. It's really cool. So, um, well, this is a green veggie salad. uh does have some a little bit of cheese it has green apple uh it has mushrooms uh we've added chicken breast which is extra we need some protein after the crazy workout we got beans carrots it's got balsamic dressing right kya hai 
Pesto, hai. okay, okay. So this one's a pesto dressing. They have all kind of dressing. They have smoothies here. But you know, people who are not on a diet and expect a smoothie to be very sweet, it's not because they make actual health smoothies. All right, so the party continues and check this out. People who know Ozzy Osbourne will know this t-shirt very, very well. One of my senior friends had given me this t-shirt. He was my senior and my friend and my colleague. And he had bought this t-shirt from uh, Thailand and that's Ozzy Osbourne. I'm an Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne fan. And the reason I'm wearing this is because I'm going to Hard Rock Cafe. Yes, one of my friends uh, band is performing there and uh, I'm excited because I got my Vespa. I need to celebrate. So what's better than go to Hard Rock Cafe and party hard? Please give it a thumbs up or comment below and as usual eat well sleep well be good signing off ride with George.